Let's talk about grounding the characters in a city, town, or village in a West Marches style campaign. I just recently did this with my own campaign called Castle Agronac. I did a pretty in-depth West Marches campaign preparation video that you can click on around here or somewhere. We're going to talk about four of the things that I implemented. Number one, have your players get involved with world building. Number two, get the characters involved in a local guild. Number three, building relationships with NPCs. And then number four, housing. But first, here's DMs off. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss an upload. And join the conversation over at the Agronac Cult Discord. Alright, number one. Get the players involved with world building. How I did this was I got each one of the players to actually come up with a shop or organization in town that they would like to interact with. Something that might be beneficial to their character. Or something that will offer a little bit of comfort. And then I made sure to include these in the town. One character wanted a bookshop, which then spawned a bakery next door. A match made in Valhalla. One character wanted a pig farm, because he's got a pig that is a truffle pig that roots around on the ground looking for truffles. So if the pig winds up dying or becomes too stubborn or unmanageable, he can get a new one. The final character wanted to make sure that there was an herbal or apothecary shop. Done and done. All right, number two, get them involved in local guilds. A thieves guild, a merchant's guild, warrior's guild, maybe even a holy order or any other guild. It could even be the local knitting club. Now we're going to give them benefits. In-game mechanics that help them when they're out adventuring. For the game system in West Marches, I'm using my own homebrew D&D called Death Lord. It doesn't have any proficiency bonuses, only your ability bonus. So how I'm using the guilds is that the guilds will end up giving them a plus one or a plus two benefit by being a part of that guild and paying dues. But if a character gets kicked out of the guild or doesn't pay their dues, poof! They're out of the guild, and, well, they lose their bonus. I understand that this might be too harsh at your table, so talk with your players before implementing something like this. Number three, building relationships with NPCs. This could be a love interest, a mother or father figure, a friend or drinking buddy. It could even be the local drug dealer, like in Skyrim if you need some skooma. You want to know the Khajiit that's down the street that can meet your need. This one has something sweet for the fellow traveler, if it entices. <laughs> you really want to connect those NPCs with the characters. It's really going to anchor them to the town. These NPCs shouldn't be the ones that are causing drama, but they could be a source of rumors, gossip, or even quests. Number four, housing. Get the players, or the characters, interested in buying a local home. It could be renting an apartment or an actual house. Maybe even a house with a business underneath. Maybe the characters don't want to be flatmates, but give them opportunity for each one of them to actually buy some sort of housing or rent it. Ways you can do this early on? Perhaps one of these NPCs that they met has a house for sale, or an apartment to rent. Or one of the guilds they're involved with sees these characters going out on adventure and coming back with gold. So they sell them a house really cheap, something that uh, is a real fixer-upper. That way they can spend their gold on getting upgrades for the house. Now they have something to spend the gold on, not only purchasing a house, but also upgrades and decorations and all that. There you go, four things to help anchor the characters in a village, town, or city for your West Marches style campaign. What did I miss? Leave it in the comments. Or come over to the Agronac Cult Discord and go a little bit deeper with that conversation. Thanks for stopping by Agronac Studios today, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. This video was brought to you by the generous support of our patrons. Consider becoming a patron so you can help us make more content like this. Or get yourself a t-shirt below. Later. Ma! Alright, do this and do that and do this and do that. And watch this video.